people today i'll be teaching you on how to block the two-in-one mode which is also called the 3d mode this is two-in-one mode you block it this way and this is our end results after blocking it this is what we are going to achieve and the materials needed we need the cinnamon this is for our embellishments, which is the straw crinoline. This also is a wire work. It's going to be attached also as an embellishment. We will need our stiffener, our brush, our USU glue, our cutter, the wire, the thumb paints, and also this is our millinery wire, which is in there and a strip. This is the rope. You could go to the market and ask them for this kind of rope and you'll get it. This is what we'll be using in doing this lesson. Join me as I teach you on how to achieve an elegant and beautiful 3D fascinator. We have a cinnamon, which is already cut across the bias. A cinnamon is already cut across the bias. So while across the bias, you fold it in. You fold it in this way. In blocking this 3D fascinator, or 3d hats you have to fold it across the bias because we want it to be elastic to be able to stretch to give us what we want next you check if the measurements is enough you see we still have a little gap you increase We have different sizes and thickness, so I won't be able to give you a particular measurement. So you just have to test it yourself to know which way, which measurement works for you. Because if I tell you this is 12 inches, you might have it in mind to be 12 inches all the time, even if you get a different mold. So you have it folded that way. You check again. It should be elastic. So next, we won't be leaving it this way. We will add a little embellishment on it. We want to embellish. You see where this gap is. You can't just leave it out. We have to put something in it. So what we'll be putting in it now is this. We have this already made wired piece. That is what we'll be putting, attaching to it to make it stand out alongside the and our crane loading. Now we have two pieces of this. Okay, so now you could coil this anyhow you want it. You could bend it, you could twist it, you see. You could twist it. You could use a pipe to twist it and you achieve results. Anyhow you want it done. Can you see? You could use a pole, twist it around it. You could also freestyle. Use your hand to create whatever shape you want. You could freestyle whatever you desire. You could achieve it. You could freestyle anyhow you want the shape to be. So now we'll be fixing this here at where the join is. Where that join, that line is. That's where we'll be fixing this. Can you see it? We'll be fixing it there. while we attach this over to this place to so just give it a nice and elegant timeless hat you want to wear something that is timeless whenever you wear it you still stand out from the crowd secured continue knotting until you are comfortable that it's secured So 
the nest before we cut our fishing line you pass through a point and you cut us wait on the mannequin and see how it will be so you could either wait in the center or by the corner to purchase the full video of this lesson, click on the link in the description section.